Welcome back at noon. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. You can email them to tips at channel3000.com. Hi, Lisa. Hello, how are you? Nice and uh, very well needed spring showers today. I know. It's kind of a dreary day, but we'll take it. We definitely need the moisture. At least we didn't get it in the form of snow. It could be worse. Could Gotta be, be worse. positive right here on a Monday. All right, so what do you have right here? That is big. Yes, uh, we have bigger ones. It's like the size of a footstool. So this is a hydrangea. It's a florist hydrangea. So even though there are hydrangeas that are hardy for our area. This would not be one of them, but it's almost Easter and we get a lot of these really showy blooming plants in the store. So it's just kind of fun. It'll bloom for a long time because there are lots of buds on it. But once it's done, it's sort of just, it's done. It looks very but easterly though. I like the very, colors. Yes. yes. Yeah. Very spring-like. We have them in blue, we have them in white, and then this weird sort of pink and green combo. But mm. Very nice for the upcoming holiday. Oh, for sure. All right, let's get to the questions now. Jim asks, we have leftover potatoes from last year's garden. Can we use those for this year's seed potatoes? Actually, you can. My first inclination was no, but I looked it up really quick. And the reason you can't use potatoes from the grocery store is that those potatoes are treated with something that stops the eyes from germinating. So... But since you, the potatoes that you have left over are not treated, you can go ahead and use them. As long as you have nice buds and the potatoes are not dried out or even worse, mushy and kind of getting stinky from last year, go ahead and try it. Oh, there you Otherwise, go. Otherwise, if you want to try potatoes and you've never done it before, we have seed potatoes in the store. They came in last week, all kinds of varieties. Don from Wanakee says we have replanted several bushes and perennials. There's grass growing in near the base of the plants. What is your recommendation for removal or killing that grass without damaging the bushes? So there are a couple of uh, herbicides that work really well for this. They are grass specific, which means that they will not harm broadleaf plants. So there is Weed Be Gone, um, which I believe is a bonide product, and so that's or ortho, and so that's really easy to use. It will work with anything ornamental. You don't want to use it around food products, though, like rhubarb or asparagus or um, raspberry patches. For that, you would use one called Over the Top, and that is safe to use with food crops. Mm, all right. Barb says, I applied preen extended release to my perennial garden just prior to the cold and snow. Will it still be effective, or do I need to reapply? It should be effective, but you want to start the effectiveness from when you applied it. So now that we have like a little lull in what we all were hoping was a growing season, you have to count that. So I think extended release is good for maybe three months. So in 90 days, you'll have to reapply, but you won't have to do it now. Yeah, she might not be alone. There might be other people. I bet there are a lot of people that got really excited and put some chemical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we always get excited, don't we? Well, Susan says, and or asks rather, when is a good time of year to transplant rhubarb from garden to another? Once it starts to come up and your ground is workable, go ahead and you can dig it out, split it, and then replant it. Rhubarb is almost indestructible, kind of like hostas. That's good. Yeah. Indestructible is good for a lot of people. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Uh, I think we got another question here. I'm just going to go to my email quick. Okay. Let's see. Blueberry transplant. There it is. I have three-year-old blueberry plants that are not doing well, and I want to transplant them to a sunnier location. Is it okay to do that now? Yeah, you can go ahead and do that now, but you also want to make sure that you have really good drainage, and while you're at it, you might as well put some soil acidifier in there as well. You can do that with garden sulfur or powdered um, aluminum sulfate, or you can just get some uh, milled peat moss and mix that in with the soil. Oh, there you go. But blueberries like well-drained, acidic soil, and as much sun as you can throw at them. All sorts of questions today. Lisa, yeah. thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's